Not all of us are glued to Facebook 24-7. The lie detector test determined. That's a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome back to the one and only Red X. Your source for the freshest daily Red content on the internet. And today, we're jumping into r slash choosing beggars. Because the only thing better than getting something for free is having somebody deliver it to you. And you know what? I do both for you guys, so you're welcome. <laughs> you never asked me to, is the difference. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Hessenite's Guide to Getting an Artist to Draw What You Want Step 1. Pay them. That's it. That That's the end. <laughs> I was recently talking about t-shirt designs to one of the lovelies in my Discord server, and she didn't want to be paid, and I'm like, man, you should always be paying your artists, no matter what they're doing for you. I mean, if, if it requires it, just slip it into their cash app and then block them immediately afterwards so they can't send it back. Sometimes drastic measures must be taken. Neighbors demanding $200 within two weeks for this crappy looking fence. Oh, how to make a bad neighbor. <laughs> Too OP. We've attached the invoice for the fence that we recently built between our boundaries. We feel that it is only fair that you should pay half of the cost, considering that it benefits both of us. We also ask that there are no modifications made to the fence, as it is still within our boundaries, e.g. painting or hanging objects. We've had to give up part of our walkway in order to build this. Anything that is done on the side facing you will be removed. When payment is made, this will give no ownership rights over the fence. Love, douchebag neighbor. <laughs> Well, if that ain't the most ludicrous thing that I ever heard. I'll see you in court, bro. How about that? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Hey, pallies. We got masks ready. We got like 50 right now ready for purchase. They're ready to go. Hot and fresh. Each has an opening for a filter option. Five dollars each. Meet me over in Green Hills. What a shame to charge so much. I don't think five dollars is unreasonable. It's like 50 cents to make, and people need them not overcharged. Maybe you could make some for 50 cents, and we could buy yours. That'd be great. <laughs> Got them. I don't think $5 is completely unreasonable, but it is up there. Of course, that's co coming from someone who lives in the Philippines, so I get my masks for like $1 or $2. Eminem is cleaning out his closet to help out during the global pandemic. <laughs> I see what you did there. He's cleaning out his closet. It's a song he did. High five. Oh, it's TMZ. I take my high five back. Ugh. Gotta wash my hands now. <laughs> Eminem donates $20,000 ultra rare Jordan 4 Carhartt shoes for COVID-19 relief. I don't know anything about those shoes, but sounds great. 20000 is... I mean, it's kind of chump change for him, isn't it? But no donation shaming allowed, which is exactly what this person did. WTF, this is real shady, dude. Ah, I see what you did there, too. Dang. You couldn't offer up some real coins? STFU. At least he donated something. what you donate? Besides, you're crying. So I'm not trying to be like a super douche here, but let's do the math. Eminem, worth $210 million as of 2020. So guess what? If I donated $50, then we would be on equal footing. But guess what else? I donated $100, so I'm twice as good as Eminem. Check out my freestyle rappings. <laughs> Who are the five best rappers on the planet? Dayton, 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 Dayton. Not best as in like most skilled, but best as in like most good. <laughs> Got him. Why a free game on the PC is paid on the phone? Correct. It's still free on Steam, but... But if you want it in your pocket, you can pick up this version for the price of a single slice of pepperoni at your favorite pizzeria. Love Click Team. No thanks. I'd rather pirate and get a virus on my phone than pay for a free game. Uh, okay. Yeah, they definitely didn't incur any costs porting it over to mobile. What an idiot. How are they supposed to make money if they're not charging you directly? You want microtransactions? Is that the world that you want to live in? Anime Avatar, Five Nights at Freddy's loving person? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. That's not the world I want to live in. I've been giving away sunflower plants and seeds for several weeks now. 
I have lost count of the people that have collected them from the red box on my doorstep. But some people are just not happy with free plants and wanted the red box as well, and are now ignoring me. Ferret woman on redacted Ave. Ferret woman on redacted Ave. You're only around the corner. Please return it. What a bag of trash, dude. Hey, there's somebody doing a nice thing. How can I ruin it for everybody? It's like those people that steal the bowl of Halloween candy, except they steal the actual bowl as well, so it can't even be refilled. What is wrong with you, ferret lady? I guess the fact that you have ferrets should have made, should have alerted me to something. <laughs> North Face is giving healthcare workers a 50% discount for COVID-19. Hey, sweet! Oh, oh, except this guy. Oh, but screw the rest of the essential workers. Who cares about them? Entitled much? You know what, bro? You're right. Why don't we just give the 50% discount to everybody? Everybody on the planet's essential, you know? <laughs> Participation trophies all around. Good job. Way to try and ruin it for everybody else, guy. From Vox 5 Atlanta. I was going to donate $7,600 to her fund, but I just found out that her parents are lesbians. I've chosen to donate to St. Jude due to that fact. Sorry. I'll still pray for her, though. Maybe it's just God's way of getting your attention that she needs a mommy and daddy, not two mommies. Holy shit. <laughs> Shade like I've never seen thrown before. This is a rare choosing donator, not a choosing beggar. But holy crap, the fact that you would choose to punish the child for the actions of the parents, it's just shameful, dude. It's so shameful. And then on top of that, you could have just done it. You could have done it and not made everybody aware of it, but you had to spread your political message. So I hope it was worth it. I hope everybody you know calls you out for the piece of trash that you are. Rock Band set, $240. That's like an extra $40 or so. Yeah, around there. So, could you do like $170? No, sorry. It's still selling consistently on eBay for $350 plus with game and $40 shipping. I brought it to $240 to allow a full price game purchase. Multiple people are selling for $250 on offer up with game. That's why I was thinking like $200. That's a steal, dude. You should pick it up from them for that. Oldest trick in the book. Hey, I can find it for this price. Okay, cool. Go do it. <laughs> I ain't changing my price. This is not a car dealership. You can play that game with a car dealer, but playing mommy against daddy for a personal seller, I, I don't think that's a very good plan. Is anyone in need of a kiddie pool to help the kiddos cool off in? We were able to get a larger one, so we no longer need the smaller one. It's about 44 inches across. If a lot of interest, I'll wait an hour before choosing a name. Pick up today is preferred. I appreciate that this page was started, but I don't appreciate how quickly things are posted and gifted. Give everyone a fair chance to see items before gifting. Not all of us are glued to Facebook 24-7. The lie detector test determined... That's a lie! That was a lie. <sighs> At least let it sit for a day versus like an hour. And do a random drawing. Admin here. We do allow people to gift however they want, and often promote the ideas you've mentioned. Some choose to let it sit, while others want the item out of their way as soon as possible. Since everything is being shared for free, we feel it's best that everyone is able to give in a way that best fits their needs. I want you to change the way this page is run. <laughs> let me tell you how to give things away. Bruh, it actually happens more often than you'd think. Maybe two months ago I had somebody crawl into the Discord server complaining about the game that we were giving away. So what did I do? Did I change the game? Did I give them what they wanted? Hell no! Gave him the old kick band. <laughs> I hope that's a lesson learned. Free food for needy families. No, not that food. Junior League turns little libraries into food pantries. Great, all GMO food with preservatives and dyes. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> if you're going to the food library, you can't really afford to shop at Trader Joe's or whatever it is, can you? I think you need to take what you get and be grateful. Oh, Jesus, this one is just a mixed bag of emotions. Looking for my place. Hi, guys. Blank here. I'm a 23 female looking for a place to crash for these next few months. I'm pregnant, 22 weeks, and I also have a two-year-old, so other moms are welcome. I'm from New York City. Before proceeding, please note that I am currently battling Corona. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
I'm a refugee from New York City who fled the conditions there to save my baby. Like I said, I'm a bit sick, so you might have to help take care of me and my daughter for the first few weeks. Only free opportunities, please. I don't feel like spending money because I have kids to take care of. Also, I occasionally vacuum and sweep the house, so that's payment enough. <laughs> Male or female roommate, fine. I don't care. This is just a mess, dude. <laughs> oh god, what is going on? I want to stay at your house for free. Also, I'm going to be deathly ill within the week, so... <laughs> Please don't hesitate to make me soup and such. <laughs> also, I occasionally vacuum and sweep the house, and also I'm gonna give you coronavirus, so that's- that's payment enough. <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> oh, how nice for you that you had, like, the money and the option to leave. There's a lot of people in New York City that are just like, well, I guess I'm stuck here. It's hilarious. Uh, it's kind of heartwarming in that she's trying to save her kids, but it's also despicable. It's just- such a melange of flavors. <laughs> I don't even know where to, where to start or what to do with it. Oh, it makes me feel things though. And I think that's the best part. Hi, I heard you do free piercings for single mothers. When can I come in for my triple conch, please? Lots of love. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I don't do free piercings. If you're interested in getting those done, they start at $40 a piece. We are also still closed until further notice due to COVID-19. And when we open, I will be getting back to making appointments. Thanks. Can you do an exception for a single mother? I don't do exceptions for anyone. I don't see how single mother is like the universal get out of jail free card. I'm just going to be real with you for a minute. You should have banged somebody who loved you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we might have to cut that. No, I'm not going to cut that. F the PS. Look, I don't know if I'm being petty here, but I feel like I'm not. So, my ex-husband remarried and has kids with his wife. She owns a business, and I found out that she makes almost a million dollars a year. My ex works and gives me $900 a month in child support for our daughter, but I don't think that's fair. I told him that it would be nice if he sent me more for my daughter. My daughter, Jesus. He told me that his wife and his accounts are not together, but... Honestly, I want to take him and his wife to court to get the max amount I can for my daughter. I work from home and my husband's in the army, but we are struggling. It would be nice to have that additional income that my daughter deserves. What do you guys think? I think you should go take a flying fork at a rolling donut. I can see without a doubt why he is your ex-husband. And I hope that every man in the world gets the memo to stay the hell away from you. Raise your kids alone, die alone, I don't even feel bad. And also, as far as the, the business that the girlfriend owns, we don't know anything about it. Okay, she makes a million dollars a year. Is that net? Is that gross? <laughs> we have no idea what the overhead for her business to run is. I think you just heard something in the rumor mail and you're like, Oh, I can probably get more money out of them. I tell you right now that you deserve nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Choosing Beggar wants some free veterinary advice. Just fed mine, babe. They're both bright as buttons. But one is, like, breathing very raspy. Both fed well, though. Actually, being honest, and only because I give a heck, the fact that I reach out as a friend to ask for help about an animal's welfare and concern, and it took you 15 hours to respond? <laughs> I wasn't even asking for anything apart from advice. I find it really crappy and disappointing, both professionally and as a friend. The lamb had the antibiotic as it was on its last legs and had not much to lose. As it happened, it's doing well now. Heyo! Sad and disappointed. Wow, I find that incredibly rude. I'm happy to help friends with vet advice, however I'm not 24 hours on call for people wanting free advice. I responded to your question, and if you were concerned you should have called your local farm vet. I am beyond disappointed to be spoken to like that by a friend. I just love the passive aggressiveness here. It's like, you can say whatever you want, just just call them a friend at the end of it. Wow, you're such a piece of crap. <laughs> I didn't expect my friends to be such pieces of crap. <laughs> Classic. Eat each other alive. Dearest customers, the free coffee is only for first responders. 
it does not include essential workers. Thank you! See, everybody from the McDonald's is just wandering in like, I'm essential as hell, dog. The sad part is, those are the people that probably need the free coffee the most, but, you know, there's more of them. <laughs> and you also don't get a card to, like, prove anything. Where first responders probably have, like, a medical card or something that they can present in order to collect on the coffee, right? Otherwise, everybody's gonna come and be like, Yeah, I stock stuff at Walmart. Give me my free coffee, son. Ask us a question. Duh, what do we have to do for a free hoodie? Yeah, uh, give me 40 pounds. You could have a free hoodie. Got him! I swear I might get some Red X merch going on this channel, but... <laughs> I'll be damned if I'm charging any of my subscribers 40 pounds for a friggin' hoodie. Good lord. I love posts like this. Usually they're for men, but... Here we've got a woman! 21. 12,000 kilometers away? Bro. That's a gnarly Tinder range. What are you doing? Anyways, she's a virgin who's never had a boyfriend, but she has a list of prerequisites. Must be outgoing and confident, must be blunt and honest, must be smooth and sexually aggressive. Must be a good dancer, must compliment me, must have a lot of women. No ugly people, no feminists, no boring conversation starters, and no one who needs alcohol to be sociable. Preferably, no Australians or Canadians. <laughs> what? <laughs> no Latinos and no Southern Europeans. <laughs> and no Southern Europeans. Disclaimer, don't message me on Instagram or Facebook. I think it's pretty easy to see why she's a virgin that's never had a boyfriend. <laughs> But anyways, friends, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Keep yourself safe. Wash your hands. Please, please, please. And join me tomorrow. I shall see you then. And until then, friends. Bye-bye.